Hi folks, I thought I'd just do a very quick and dirty um, video about the, well, not so much the configurations of my 10 gig um, LAN, but really the parts I used. Uh, so that, because there hasn't been, um, well, there are there is information out there, but there isn't one real video that I, that I, I found at least that really dumbs down uh, the requirements of of what you need. So what I'm going to do is set is basically go through the, the key components, um, add links on to various places as to where I got my components from. So um, because I'm in the UK, I can only refer to them from the UK kind of places, but I can give you precise uh, model numbers and um, approximately um, what I paid for them. So then maybe you can have some kind of guide to your 10 gig journey. Um, cost wise, I don't know the exact cost at this point um but um what i'm going to try and do is um as i'm going along um figure out the prices um of what or exactly what i ordered so starting off with this so this is uh the thing that really kind of keeps it all together so obviously this is um, um, a switch um but this is the microtech five port 10 gig and one gig um switch the model number is uh charlie romeo sierra 305 dash one golf dash four sierra plus indigo november is that really make it no it doesn't make things easier does it <laughs> when um a youtuber uh, who's far more established than i am um brought this to my attention i was kind of blown away first of all how cheap this was um, okay when i say cheap is relative so i bought this from a company called um lin itx um l-i-n itx they're based in suffolk in in the uk um, i'll add a link below now including um next day delivery and vat and all that kind of stuff um this cost me 150 pounds Okay, so currently that translates to 191 US dollars. Uh, but um, looking at the alternatives and how compact this is and the size and, and uh, the reputation that Marketic has, 190 dollars for a 10 gig, 10 gigabit switch, it's actually um, relatively cheap. Um, so yeah, this is the thing that holds it all together. It allows me to obviously insert these little things. Now, I'm a complete noob, so I'm gonna say really noob things. So you're gonna to have to kind of forgive me for that. This is a, using its full name, this is a 10 gigabit SFP plus SR multi-mode transceiver. And none of that means any sense to me whatsoever. But what I'll do, I'll send you the exact link uh, on uh, on Amazon. And this cost me, uh, so a pack of four, a pack of four uh, cost me 65, 66 pounds um, from Amazon. So 66 pounds translates to 85 US dollars for four of these. So they're not cheap, but they are crucial to what you need to do. So yeah, so these are the um, GTEC 10 gigabit SFP plus uh, multi-mode transceivers. Now I remember the other YouTuber guy, forgive me, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, he was very clear in saying that these had to be multi-mode. So this bit here is, or oh, these two ports is to hold, dun dun dun, whoop, this thing, a fiber patch cable. This particular one is from a company called Vandersail. I got um, two packs. I got these um, five meter versions because uh, that's all I need. I don't need anything longer than that. Uh, these transceivers by themselves are obviously useless. Like uh, with normal RJ45s or traditional Ethernet, as you want to probably call them, these need this little bit here and it just kind of clicks in into place. Then that's it, and then obviously this goes into the um, into the switch. Um, yeah, uh, voila, and then literally that's it. So you plug in 
um, four of these. Oop, come on. So that one goes to my free NAS, that one goes to my workstation, that one goes to my Unraid server, and this one is just free for now, it doesn't do anything. This one here, the Ethernet uh, via say RJ45, goes to the rest of my network. So the rest of my network is uh, basically anything else. Um, so I've got um, PlayStation, Synology, NAS downstairs as well. So, so the other end, you do obviously need four of these if you're filling up all these ports, but you also need the equivalent down the other end. This is a um, Velinox Connect X-2 10 gigabit network card. I bought the, there are Intel version, they're Intel Nix, but they're way more expensive here in the UK. Now these are quite, unfortunately, these are quite rare in the UK, um, but yeah, but in the UK I spent um, 30 pounds each for these, 30 pounds each for these, um, and I've got uh, four of them. So uh, do some sums. Bing. That's the price there. A similar thing on the other side. Um, you need um, uh, a transceiver. Slots in there. Bosch. The other end goes in there. Uh, Bosch. And then, then we're done. That's it. That was it, guys. Just a very kind of quick um, detail as to what the, the hardware I'm using. I'm not going to try and show you how to configure things at this stage because to be honest i don't fully know how to configure all this stuff at this stage but I hope some of that helps as to the the gear i'm using and the pros and cons and all that kind of stuff okay guys please subscribe really helps if you got to this end if you got this far i'd like you to type in in the comments below i'd like you to type in avengers assemble okay there's a comic book right in front of me so type in avengers assemble if you got to this far of the video which i'm pretty sure most of you haven't. Okay, guys, uh, like if you'd like. Please subscribe. That really helps me out. Comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.